Lorenzo and Pedro. So row two, what a performance by Hector Barbara. He was ahead of Valentino Rossi and Maverick Vinales. Row three, rejuvenated Cal Crutchlow, Pedro Zanoni and Danilo Patrizzi. Row four, Andrea De Vizioso, Scott Redding and Paul Spargo. Fifth row headed by Alessia Spargo, the pole man here one year ago. Smith and Piero joined him on row five. And then there's Lavatini and Barbara. That's your row six. Row seven. Tito Rabat and Alvaro Batista. 21 riders will contest round seven of the MotoGP World Championship on a glorious Mediterranean afternoon here in Barcelona. The odds look good for the Yamaha win if you believe in Keep an eye on him in eight. So here we go, round seven of the MotoGP World Championship. Front row, Lorenzo, Lorenzo, 
Marquez, three Spanish riders. This is a tribute to one of MotoGP's favorite sons, Luis Salon. He runs up the back of the grid. I think somebody actually no, was in the wrong position. It was Hector Barber didn't get in the right grid slot. So here we go, 25 laps of this Barcelona Catalonia circuit. Round seven of the MotoGP World Championship. Good start again by Jorge Lorenzo. He'd have been better to wait, surely, because if Rossi's going to drag them along, he could have been in that train. Now he's going to be very hard indeed. Lorenzo is getting away. Lorenzo does really quite gently the first few laps before trying to put on the pressure, but Marquez beautifully placed. A couple of riders that dropped down the order in the first couple of laps. who was 7th, he's back in 11th, Truxlow's just taken 10th place from Barbara. Rossi the fastest man on track on that second lap, 146, 165. Problems for Bradley Smith, he's at the back of the field down in 21st place. Oh, he just hasn't been comfortable all the time, what about that? Oh, you know, he's totally done, he'll only run the back of the red he only got way, way too hot down at turn number 10. They are going to be Ducati teammates. Wow, that was unbelievable. Andre, you know, what did he do? 